Microsoft's free Windows 11 upgrade is now rolling out from Windows 10. Microsoft began offering the free upgrade for new devices still shipping with Windows 10 before the operating system was made available to other eligible existing devices. However, not every Windows 10 PC will be able to upgrade to Windows 11. Windows 11 will require Intel 8th Gen Coffee Lake or Zen 2 CPUs and later. TPM 2.0 support, RAM 4GB, and 64GB storage. This leaves millions of computers unable to officially upgrade to Windows 11. Here's how to get Windows 11 today. If you have a PC or device that isn't allowed to upgrade to Windows 11. If this is your first time watching our videos, please subscribe and like the video to help us do more. First, we will download the official version of Windows 11 through the official Microsoft website. All the links mentioned in the explanation you will find in the description below the video. After entering the site, download Windows 11 installation media by clicking on Download Now. After the file has been downloaded, we run it. Then we agree to the terms of use. Now we wait a little while the files are prepared. Now we remove this tag from here so that we can choose the language we want. For example, I will choose the English language. Then we will press next. Now we choose the ISO file. Then we will press next. And it will ask us to choose where to put the file. I'll choose desktop. Then save. Now all we have to do is wait for the file to download. After the download is finished, Click here on Finish. As you can see, this is the Windows file that we downloaded in ISO format. Now we will need this small file, as I said before the link below the video. Through this file we will bypass all the requirements of the Windows 11 system. Let's bring all the files to the desktop so things are clear. Now let's extract the Windows files using the decompressor. It is better to use WinRAR. Right-click on the file, then choose Extract to Windows. Wait until all files are extracted. Then we decompress the second file. Now we open the Windows folder, then we move to the Sources folder. Then we move to the second file, and we copy this file. Then we paste it inside the Sources folder. Now let's take a step back. Then we run the installer. After running the program, we click here and then choose the second option not now. Then click on next. Now click on agree to agree to the terms of use. Click here on change what to keep. Let me explain these three options to you. The first option, all files and installed applications, as well as settings for Windows, will be preserved. Option two, only personal files, such as photos, videos, etc., are preserved. The third option, all files, programs, and settings will be deleted. But all these options will only apply to disk C, which is the partition on which Windows is currently installed. After choosing the appropriate option for you, for example, the first option, it is enough just to press next, then install to start the update directly. Now, wait until the installation of Windows 11 on the device is completed. Important note, make sure that the device is not connected to any USB or any other device. 
as well as connect the device to the electricity to avoid any problems. The device may be restarted more than once, do not worry, it is very normal. You only need to wait. I will speed up the process so that the video is not too long. So, as you can see, Windows 10 has been updated to Windows 11 successfully, and without problems, you can now enjoy the new features and the wonderful look of Windows officially. You will also receive updates without any problem. Here we have reached the end of this video, please, subscribe and like the video to help us provide more. If you encounter any problems during the update process, do not hesitate to contact me on Facebook or any social media. Thanks again, and bye.